<laughs> Revelation chapter 7, verse 4 speaks of 144,000 Jews. Uh, Revelation 14, 4 is an extension of Revelation 7. It specifically states the 144,000 are Christians. Revelation 14.4 says that uh, these um, people are, uh, they follow the Lamb. So that's uh, why I say they're, they're um, obviously Christians. Now Revelation 7 uh, has these uh, 144,000 as Jews because they're they're of the 12 tribes of Israel, while Revelation 14 has them as Christians. Uh, so we, if we put the two ideas together, they're, they're Christian Jews in Israel. And they're, they're in Israel for, it says, Mount Zion is where they are. That's of 14 verse 1. That's located in Israel, of course. Now, on top of all that, the rapture is described in Revelation 14:14 14, 14, in terms of Christ harvesting the earth. Now, this goes back to um, Matthew 13:36 through 40, where the harvest uh, is at the end of the age. Um, well, the rapture occurs at the end of the age, so that's why I say this. This uh, uh, I count Revelation fourteen fourteen through sixteen as a rapture passage. But my point is that Revelation fourteen is setting up the hundred and forty four thousand Christian Jews as a clue as to the time of the rapture. When the number of Christian Jews in Israel reaches 144,000, that is the year in which the rapture should take place, will take place. Now here's the punchline. <laughs> there are already 144,000 Christian Jews in Israel. Think about that. <laughs> uh, that they accept Jesus as the Messiah. This means that this year, 2020, should be the year of the rapture. Now why do I say there are 144,000 Christian Jews already. You've got to consider that Rabbi Yitzhak Kadori uh, had a tremendous influence. He died at the age of 108. Uh, this was uh, in January of 2006. And um, he left a note with the name of the Messiah. Uh, it was in an envelope. Um, he asked that it not be open for a year to build up uh, some suspense. And uh, the note uh, basically had like a sentence or two. And if you take the first letter of each of the words in that sentence. They add up to the name Jehoshua. Jehoshua. And, um, which is a long version of Joshua, which is a long version of, for Jesus. Long story short, everybody realized that 
the rabbi was saying that Jesus is is the Messiah. Uh, they didn't have any. Uh, they didn't. They, it didn't take them any time to to understand the message. And uh, so I think that had a tremendous influence. And uh, so I, I step, I, I'm climbing out on a limb, uh, you could say, or uh, by saying there are already 144,000 Christian Jews in Israel. You've got to consider the nation of Israel is like 7 million Jews. It doesn't take a large percentage to reach 144,000. Uh, 10,000 is 1% of a million. And so if there are 7 million Jews in Israel, then 1% of 7 million would be 70,000. And so 140,000 would be 2%. Now, uh, so you can see that that uh, uh, it, 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 it wouldn't be it would not be difficult for the number of believers in Israel uh, to reach two percent of the population. And uh, I cannot back back up uh, what I'm saying about 144,000 Christian Jews uh, because I don't know how many how many churches there are. And uh, but uh, in Israel, so uh, it's, I'm stepping out in faith. And one more thing, it says in um, Revelation seven, uh, verse uh, four through eight, that there there has to be twelve tribes. The twelve tribes have to be represented in Israel, and. Um, this goes back to uh, Ezekiel 37, where it's, it says that before um, the uh, generation, the last, the end time generation uh, that Christ spoke about in Luke 21, 32, before this generation can begin, uh, there has to be 12 tribes represented by, uh, in the state of Israel. And <clears throat> when Israel came back in 1948, uh, that was only uh, the Jews and the Benjaminites. In other words, it was, the, it was Judah, the return of Judah, not the return of Israel. But in 1950, the Supreme Court and the Knesset, which is the uh, parliament, uh, they both decided, uh, they both ruled that the Samaritans would be accepted as, as Israelis, a sect of Judaism. A uh, long story short, the Samaritans are the remnant of the ten northern tribes. So now there are, since 1950, there are, <coughs> Israel is the twelve-tribed version of Israel. Uh, it's, 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 it's since 1950. We start with 1950, and we add 70. Years, because that's the length of a generation. And that's uh, from uh, Psalm 90, verse 10. Long story short, 2020 really should be the year of the fulfillment that Christ spoke about in Luke 21. And uh, the signs in the heavens, uh, they're more clear in uh, Matthew 24. And the signs are uh, uh, all talking about nuclear war. And so that's what's going to happen this year. Russia takes over the world. Uh, well, they take over Western Europe uh, mainly. And um, uh, then, okay, that's the rapture, the Russian attack. The, uh, the Christians that die at that time, that's the rapture. The Christians that don't die, they, they go through the tribulation. But they have the um, strength of um, God's word in the Bible uh, telling them uh, about the Antichrist, how he's going, to, he's going to be defeated. And Christ will come quickly. That's, that's um, Revelation 3, verse 11. Uh, Revelation 22, uh, verse 7 and 
12, and 20. And uh, I have you know, I have good news for you. It, it won't be seven years, the tribulation. It'll be five months. That's Revelation 9, verse 5 and 10. And uh, so that's all I want to say. And um, so thank you for watching this video. And please tell people.